Okay, okay. <sighs> Woo! It has been a long time since I've taken a bike out. And by a long time, I mean like a week or so. What's, what am I doing? Oh my gosh, that has really faded in the sun. And there's so many bugs on it, it needs to be washed. But, it's, it's getting cold out now. It is late, what is it? Oh, it's like mid-November, that's the word. And so, I think it's 56 degrees out right now. It's getting chillier, so riding season's coming to an end, but I'm still gonna ride year-round. Oh yeah, look at those, sexy. Look at that, woo, shee! Uh, yeah, it's just getting a little cooler out. So I'm be riding a little less, maybe not taking this to school as much, but oh well, so be it, so be it. As you can see on my little dash, sorry, got, got a little distracted right there. I kept trash control off, but as you can see on my dash, I have a list of things. That's because I wanted to talk about things and I wanted to make sure I remembered what I wanted to talk about. So I made a list. However, that means I can't see what gear I'm in or RPM or speed. So that's fine, that means I just don't need to blur my, split, my speed out later. Because speed limits. I, I'm going slow. I know I'm going slow because I'm not going fast. But getting right into it, today I wanted to talk about how I have progressed as a rider. How I have evolved and gotten maybe better or not. I already said it because that's the title of the video. Oh. Cops are going wild. First thing is how I started out riding, which would be dirt and dual sport. I always kind of thought of myself as a dirt guy because when I first started riding, I just liked the idea of playing outside in like my yard on a motorcycle. Because like I like playing on my bike, but then you had to go like up hills on a bike and that's just no fun. So I was like, well, wouldn't a motorcycle be just so much easier? And it is, wow. And so that's kind of where I started. But you know, after a while, your backyard gets kind of small. So I've always wanted to just go to the street instead. There's so much more area where you can go outsy and aboutsy. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I always go outsy and aboutsy and I find new places to go. Hello. I have no idea who that is. Now, that's one way I progressed. I used to ride street, I used to ride, uh, no, sorry. I used to ride dirt, I used to ride dual sports a lot, and I loved it. But then I kind of figured out that there's nothing in my area to ride a dual sport on. And so now, I mainly ride street bikes. And that might be a path that a lot of other people have taken, you know. They think they can go a lot of places on dual sports, so they buy those or adventure bikes, but find that there's not a lot of neat places to explore in their area, so they just gotta stick with the street. And that's kind of like, I like I like dirt bikes because of how they're set up and everything, but I can only stay on the street. And that's why I have a supermoto, because it's a dirt bike meant for the street. So it's perfect, it works out. Um, that's my next thing. You guys can just read ahead and see where I'm going with this. Oh yeah, I used to think, so I used to take my bike to school, right? And I still do actually, wow, believe it or not. But whenever I did take it to school, I always told myself I have to take it to school because like, now that I can, I have to. I'm a motorcycle guy, I have to take my motorcycle. And I'd only do it on Fridays, or something weird like that. I don't know why. Nowadays, I take the bike whenever I can. Whenever I feel like I want to, I'll just be like, taking a bike today, you know? Even though today's gonna be a little cold, taking the bike today. And that goes into the next topic of, I used to not ride in the cold or the hot. Like in the summer when it was 90s or something like that, I wouldn't ride because it was just too hot outside. And when it got cold like now, I wouldn't ride when it got below 50. Well, today it's gonna get a little, it's almost gonna get below 50, and so I usually wouldn't ride. But today, I figured out, here's where I evolved. I just tapped in my head, but you guys could see that because you're a camera. I evolved, and now I, I layer up a lot, and I know what to layer up with, so that way I can stay nice and toasty. So, like, one of those ways is I wear three jackets. And I never would do that at school because I always thought, oh, it's embarrassing to like take your jacket in with you and stuff like that. And you know, I don't want to have to carry around stuff. And I also, like I said before, I wouldn't ride in the summer because I'd always have a jacket on and long pants. I also wore boots all the time. And those boots were hot, those motorcycle boots. And so I didn't like that. What I end up doing now is I just wear less gear in the summer. And that's not a good thing. You know, you should always wear your gear, especially a helmet. But, do you really have to like go overkill with boots? Like look at this, even now, it's cold. I should be wearing my boots because they'd be warmer, but I'm just wearing pants. 
just wearing more comfortable shoes. I'm way more comfortable. I just rather be comfortable. And that's like in the summer when I'm just going on short trips to like, let's say work, I would, I would wear um, like full gear also and, and the boots, like all this other like stuff that just make me really hot and I get to work and I'm drenched in sweat. Well, now, I mean, if it's summer, if it's hot out like that, I would just go in a t-shirt, but I would take it much easier on the way to work. So I just started wearing less gear, which again, is not a very good thing, and you should wear gear. I would just be more comfortable not wearing gear, which means I get to ride on a motorcycle more, which means I'm more happy. And as you just think, you gotta kinda... <laughs> had to pop a quick lily for the man. Oh yeah, I just wear less gear when it's too hot and I wear more stuff when it's cold. And that way I'm more comfortable with my riding. And that's also because I'm more confident too. As you get more confident, I don't know, maybe confidence kills, but you know, I realize I don't have to wear all that gear, especially, you know, when it comes to boots. Like, look at this man. He's not even wearing a helmet. That's kind of cold for the head. He was bald too. Oh man. But, <laughs> you know, you just realize you're not most likely not gonna crash. Again, I'm probably a bad way of thinking about it, but I would never do that. You know, I would always wear a helmet. I know, I know, it's a very bad thing. And people are probably gonna leave comments saying, wow, you're crazy. You should wear um, more gear. I'll be like, I know, I thanks dad, I know. Like see, I wouldn't be doing that kind of stuff if I didn't have all my gear on, I would actually be a little bit more tame as a rider. As far as I can do that stuff, like it's been weeks. It's been a week since I've been on this bike and I'm still coming back right into it. And it's again, because the 701 just taught me this stuff. There's no way I could hold those wheelies like I have been, but man, 701, what's next on the list? Oh yeah, so I mean, as just a rider, I've become more confident, which means, and ugh, what? Yeah, like I have confidence now on a bike, you know, I'm willing to, fling a bike around, I'm willing to do a little more things, and I'm more comfortable like locking up the, the rear wheel, and I, I just did that, you guys couldn't see that, but I did lock up the rear wheel. You just develop these skills and you're more confident on a bike, and I feel like that's really important for riding a motorcycle, is understanding your bike and being confident on it. Because, I say this because I saw someone on their motorcycle, they went from a 400, a little Cowie 400, to a BMW 1000, like the, the, the race bike. It's like, what the fuck? And you could see this girl, like she bought the bike and then she was leaving the dealership and just fell over. And it's like, you, 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 I mean, I know they're tall bikes, but it's like, you don't have the skill or the confidence to ride that bike. You did not grow enough as a rider to be able to get that. Yeah, you can get whatever bike you want, but you know, you should at least get a bike that you're comfortable with and confident on. She just wasn't, she fell over on the 1000 and I saw some of her other videos, it's on TikTok, and she was like, oh, I did my first wheelie and it was her just like leaving a stoplight, uh, doing like a like quick street race with someone. It was like, your first wheelie on a 1000. Well, one, that thing wheelies by itself, you know, it doesn't take much to do that, but it's like, that's your first wheelie? Even I was wheeling the 230 before I got this. <laughs> You know, you need to develop a certain set of skills and be ready for things to happen when you're buying those giant leader bikes. I did, I did kind of make that mistake, you know. Um, I went from a 230 to this. That, that was that was not the best idea. Starting on 100 horsepower or you know moving to that as your second bike probably isn't the best idea. That little kid is tweaking out. All right. Well, I think that's all I had today. Um, yeah, I progressed as a rider. Let's go over things real quickly one more time. Let's go into water mill here. I uh, used to ride on the dirt. I thought I'd do that forever. And I still enjoy doing it, but you know, that's not me anymore. I like street a lot more. Not a lot more, but you know, I like it because it's got more availability and I can do more things with it. Um, I used to think like I had to ride. I had that mentality where, you know, I have a motorcycle so I have to ride it around to be cool. No, you don't. Ride it when you want to. You know, you don't always have to just ride it because it's Friday. If you're not up to it, just don't ride. Oh yeah, I used to not ride in like certain conditions and weather. I still don't ride in the rain. Uh, no, thank you. It's just not fun. Like in the cold, I used to just not layer up. I used to just say, oh, too cold, not gonna ride. But hey, I totally could've. 
And I totally could have ridden more often. Like I said, I used to just ride every Friday to school, which is kind of stupid. I could have just la layered up a little bit, or like I said, I wear less gear, you know, just take it easier on the road. And I would have been able to ride more often. Yep, and I'm more confident as a rider now because I feel like you have to follow the correct transition between bikes. You know, you can't go from a can't go from a little little ten horsepower to a thousand horse what to a hundred horsepower. That that ain't that ain't where it's at. That's kind of what I did. So make sure you follow the correct the correct transition. That's just important for being confident rider. But that's all I got. That's all my progression. And I, I kind of went off the rails. I went everywhere else talking about other things. But that's, that's just how I do, man. I have a list. It's still here. The last list video I did, it fell off. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye.